Ladies and gentlemen, the next fight of the evening would be a lightweight bout under 70.3 kilogram. Introducing first in the cage, he's coming from Ukraine. Bring it up for Dmitry Solopov. Here we go, folks. Lightweight division action here. And two undefeated fighters about to step inside the Eagles fighting championship cage at EFC Elimination. Up first, Dmitry Solopov of Ukraine, 25 years old from the capital of Kiev. Tonight he makes his EFC debut. He is six years older than his opponent and one centimeter shorter. And I'll play with this guy's a real character too. He looked like a banana yesterday at the weigh-ins. He was all dressed in yellow, had a yellow hat on, a yellow sweatshirt, and uh, was the polar opposite of his very serious opponent. Uh, but I've been told that this kid is a serious threat to deal with. Once the cage closes, all the fun and games are over. Gentlemen, calling his opponent to the red corner. He's coming from Moldova. Please give it up for Petru Buzugan. Nice round of applause goes out here for Petru Buzdugan. Also undefeated. 2-0 from here in Kishino. Both of those fights happened here in Eagles Fighting Championships 9 and 10. Very tactical fighter and uh, known for coming to the cage wielding a mace. Yeah, I mean like a club, like a spiked club, the mace. This is his first fight of 2019 and a, a very good example of a homegrown talent here in Moldova, Petru Buzdugan. Looked very impressive in his first two fights. Uh, but so far, I, I think he's going to have his biggest test here tonight. As I mentioned, he was he was all he was uh, all very very serious. How should I say this? He was there was no nothing uh, funny. There was no funny business here from Petru Puzdugan, and he looks to be pumped up here for this fight. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner, age at 25, weighing 70 kilogram, height 1.72 meters, having a personal record of three fights, three wins. He's fighting for Orum Top Team Phuket from Ukraine. Give it up for Dimitri Solopo. Presenting the red corner, age 19, weighing 70 kilogram, height 1.73 meters, having a personal record of two fights and never lost. Ladies and gentlemen, he's fighting for Thai Boxing Club from Moldova. Give it up for Petru Busukan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lightweight bout under 70 kilogram, five minute, three round MMA rules. A referee in the ring, Alexander Petkoglo. Wait. And we're underway here. 70.3. Kilos is the weight limit. Three rounds of five minutes in the EFC lightweight division. Somebody, as they say, is going to walk out of here with a loss. The O has got to go. Serious power on low kick there as Sopolov kind of raising his eyebrows at his opponent. There's that low kick again. Man, that thing has some serious power behind it.
Look at how calm he is in there. And then when he finally does strike, he puts absolutely everything he has into it. Petr Buzdugan changing up his stance here from time to time. There's that low kick, man. He winds up with that thing. And it's like an ax cutting into a tree. Still one more fight after this one on the prelims before we begin the main card here at Eagles FC Elimination. Somebody's undefeated streak is gonna be eliminated by the time this thing's said and done. Ooh, he missed that time. Luz Dugan had that kick scouted and then tried to counter with a right hand but couldn't quite clip him. And the kick coming from the other side now. You can see the outside of the lead left leg on the outside of the thigh right there on your camera turning all black and blue. Body kick goes in, counter left hook that time from Booz Dugan. Booz Dugan stretches out with a left. Ooh, there's that hard low kick again. I'll tell you what, man, that is gonna, yeah, he just acknowledged it there where he slapped his own thigh. He knows that those things are gonna pay dividends. Now he's checking that kick. He's lifting up that left leg because you can't just continue to eat those low kicks like that. It's not a good strategy and it'll slow you down and it'll catch up with you sooner rather than later. The way those things are going in, you keep wailing away in that same spot. Oh, he just nailed them again, right in the same exact spot, time after time after time. You see, look at the back of uh, Booz Dugan. You can see he's probably been doing this cupping. You can see the big circular welts up and down his spine. Anything to get an advantage. When, when two guys are as evenly matched as this, then you gotta look for other ways to gain an advantage on your opponent. Some people like all kinds of different alternative therapies and there's an inside low kick that time. You can see that he wants to get him back too. He doesn't wanna just sit there and take those shots. He wants to get some payback for those low kicks from Solopov, wow. That shot had some smoke on it. Coming up on 40 seconds here in round number one, and so far these two in this contest content to stand and strike with each other. And certainly they have shown their striking acumen here as they engage once again. Low kick perhaps bounced off the front of the leg or the knee, and now finally Booz Dugan closes the distance for the first time here in this fight. Certainly you can see, look at the left thigh of Solopov. He hasn't gotten out of the low kick exchange unscathed. Closing seconds though. And that's the end of round one. Well, here's what happened in round one. Yeah, that's it. That, that was the biggest thing in round one with those low kicks. That one looked like it could have been actually low. And low, I mean in the groin. But the low kicks of Solopov, certainly the story. 
But uh, Buzdugan got his shots in as well. You know, they have their own Instagram page too. Just drop you a little hint there. Fia girls. Good sportsmanship between these two as we kick off round number two. Clubbing overhand right and immediately goes for a takedown. Good move there, an unexpected move from Solopov who changes things up here in round number two. Buzdugan using his arms to keep his opponent at bay, now sneaks the legs in as well, and Solopov, whoa, fires one off, but a little bit off the target. Buzdugan looking to his left, looking to his right. I don't know if he was just readjusting his position or trying to find his corner, who's actually behind him in the direction his head is pointing. Referee calling for action here as Buzdugan has the arms completely controlled and there's really nothing that Solopov can do about it. He's trying to use his forehead to push against his opponent and create some openings. And once again, referee Alexandru Petkoglo calling for action between these two. Look at the back. Look at the right side of the back of Solopov. I think that's from the action up against the cage and the takedown that happened at the end of round number one. Certainly some very strong reddening in that area and in the shoulder area as well. Right hand's now going into the kidney. Look at just pounding away time after time. Even if you're not hitting them with everything you've got, you hit them enough times in the same spot and it'll do damage. Boy, that right shoulder is so red. I th they didn't spend that much time up against the cage. I wonder why it is so red like that. Solopov got him in a body lock now as he's trying to improve his position here. Now he gets over the leg, or does he? Nope. Caught back in the spider's web once again. And referee gonna go ahead and stand them up. Solopov wasn't making a whole lot of progress there. But there was action. And this is uh, what Buzdugan wanted, I think. I, I don't think he was in a, a hurry to look for any kind of submissions or to be very aggressive off of his back. He does close the distance though here. Left hand goes right into the middle of the ab lower abdominals. Trying to reach down for a leg. Could not though. <laughs> Knees being traded on the inside. And as they break, shots to the face. Missed him that time. Ooh, looks to me like Solopov is starting to feel the pace of this fight here. He's slowing down a little bit. And I think whereas Buzdugan was conserving his energy on the ground when they were grappling in the beginning of this round, he really forced Solopov to expend a lot of energy. And now Buzdugan's teeing off on him. Buzdugan shoots in now. Got him up high, he was holding on to the cage though, and he wasn't able to complete that 
completely the way that he wanted to, but he got him on the ground nonetheless. Coming up on 30 seconds left now in round number two. Left arm wrapped around the head. Who's Dugan? Gets around the legs and nearly got in the full mount there. Trying to free up that right leg. He doesn't have enough time, though, to really polish this off. Well, enough time to get a couple elbows in, though. There's the horn. Have a look at round two action there. Well, the majority of that round looked exactly like this. It looked like Salopo on top of his opponent, trying to improve his position, working hard to, to get past the, the legs and the guard of Buzdugan, but just a, not a whole lot doing. And then once they finally got stood back up again, it looked like Buzdugan was in a lot better shape cardiovascularly than Solopov was. So what kind of effect is that going to have on the action in round number three? We'll find out in just a moment. Here we go, round three action here. Ooh, he caught him with a left. Caught him sleeping with a left. Uzdugan does come from the Thai Boxing Club, and the, the name of that gym should tell you right there that this kid does have a striking pedigree. Presses the action now up against the cage. And the block with that left leg. He's got it scissored between his legs. Right hand's going in now, trying to change the mind of the Moldovan. Trying to secure the takedown, though. Good job of keeping his balance there by the Ukrainian. Tries to take the back. Oh! Tries to slam him, but it didn't work out the way he wanted to. Oh, my! He has got the guillotine in here. He's got it in real close. That thing is deep underneath the chin. He's trying to rip his head off. It's going in there. Oh, but he's fighting it off, and I don't know how much longer he can. He is stretching out that neck. He's going to have to try to just power his way out of it, and he does. Look, his whole body is turning red now. That was a very, very close call for Dmitry Solopo. He was just about, I think, about a few seconds away from getting his head ripped off. Referee reminding the guys to keep going, keeping the action going, and then to get stood up again. Boy, look at Dmitry Solopov. This kid looked like he's just walked through a minefield. Look at how red his back is. Looking for a takedown. I don't know if he'll get it or not. That was almost like a fireman's carry kind of a takeover. Slipped out. Walking the cage now. Got the right arm hooked under the back of the neck of Buzdugan, who's looking directly right over at his coach, making eye contact with him, even. Slowly kind of winding up for that right hand, though. Couldn't quite pull the trigger, though. Still lots of time to go here in round number three. Oh, he just ate a couple of big right hands that time from the Moldovan. And another one. 
Elbows going in. Big left hand. No, right hands going in from Booz Dugan, who's got the left arm trap now. His head is exposed. Oh, he's just rubbing the elbow right in his face now. Grinding it. Elbows, finding the home. And luckily for Salopo, was able to free up his left arm. Another elbow goes in there. That time the elbow find the way into the midsection. Oh, hard shot by the elbow. He turns his back now. Doesn't need to take any more of those unprotected shots. Oh my! Thunderous shots going in here. Oh! What is he doing? Tried a, a, a flying heel hook or something like that. Couldn't quite pull it off though. He turned his back on his opponent. Buzuga trying to finish him off. And he did. Buzugan gets the stoppage. Deep into round number three. And here comes the mace. Here's how the fight ended in round number three. There was only about 30 seconds left, I think, in round number three, but the referee had seen enough. Too many unprotected shots to the face, and it, it did look like right there towards the end of round three that Solopov just did not have anything left. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the winner is uh, by a technical knockout with a ground and pound. Give it up for Petru Bustukan. A very hard fought victory for Petru Bustukan, who remains undefeated in his career, now moving to 3 0.